If you plan to add many users, importing them from a CSV file will be the best option for you. Go to the People page, open the Users tab, and click the Add New Users button. Go to the Import from File tab. Now download the template CSV file to a folder on your computer and open it in any CSV editor that supports Unicode, for example, Notepad, OpenOffice, or Microsoft Excel. You probably already have a list of your users. All you need to do is merge it with our template. Just copy your users' emails and paste them into the corresponding columns. Make sure you don't delete the first row which lists the column headers. If you like, you can add your users' passwords. They will be able to change them afterwards. The rest of these fields are also optional, but if you have a large list, it's easier to edit them here. Add a first and last name. If you like, you can put no in this column to keep your users deactivated until later. Otherwise, they will be automatically active. If the user role column is left blank, these users will be students. Otherwise, you can specify publisher, administrator, or organization administrator. In these columns, you can add the user to one or more groups, and in this column, you can specify an organization. Now save the file and switch back to iSpring Learn. Click the Browse button to find your CSV file. If you didn't specify passwords in the CSV file, you must check this option to generate a random one for each user. Check this box to send emails to new users with their login information. If necessary, edit the invitation message. Now click the Add Users button. That's it! All these users will be added to your account and you can find them in the user list. Did you like this video? Give it a like and subscribe to the iSpring YouTube channel for more updates.